Dragons find that clinical edge today. Do these young Tyros? They don't know. They don't realise sometimes the pressure that's upon them, and they 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 bask in it. They enjoy. It. So the Dragons in the lead at King's Home, thanks to Jorian, Dorian Jones' penalty. Again, they look for the width here to Gloucester. Marshall's pass to Kavesic, who popped up outside wide. Well, there's Ben Morgan. It's a clear counter for the English international number eight. And the Dragons' defence there was sucked into the narrow areas. And eventually the width was there for Gloucester. And there were acres of green grass in front of Morgan. And all he had to do was waltz away for the try. Time off. Well, Lovely I can't walk before the pass player. off the floor by Meyer. Keep the momentum going. That's the type of game the Dragons need to play. Keep the ball off the floor, get that offloading game going. Plenty of bodies under Toby Falatau's floorboards, I suggest. He's run over a few folk, causing significant damage. You made him sound like a serial Just killer, <laughs> Not from one. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Thanks. So the normally uber reliable Greg Laidlaw. I'm I'm really, I'm really close. And that's what they're used to at King so that's what they're used to seeing when he's wearing the Scotland shirt as well. Straight forward for Greg Laidlaw. So the Dragons trailing now and Calamophony Morgan. How effective they've been across in that game line. Well, Gloucester are vulnerable at King's home this season, and in recent seasons, in fact. They've lost three times at home in the Premiership. The Gloucester power game would simply overwhelm the Dragons. But since then, it's been this awful lack of discipline in their own half that has given the Dragons the opportunity. Well, Gloucester, you know, psychologically, morale must be a little bit low. They've lost their last four in the league, their last win. Was at home to Wasps in early March. They played pretty well against Leicester last week. The ball. But, uh, well, while we're watching those replays, I, I noticed Carl Meyer there injecting nitroglycerine into his right foot. Will it make the difference? It's a long way out. Well over 50 metres. The wind seems to have dropped here. But this will be a gargantuan effort if he lands it. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what, he turned away as soon as he struck it. Control the ball and then create quick ball. That's the key here. All the numbers are to Greg Laidlaw's right. Here's James Hook. And he sets the ball up for Steve McCall. It rolled off the chest of the Dragons defence. Gloucester took full advantage of the slip. And Steve McCall was there to point him. How often have we seen that death little James Hook rubber pay dividends for this Gloucester side? Well, this, this could win the match for Gloucester. So tight has this one been. He's delivered on many occasions in the blue of Scotland. Into the cherry and white strip, and the red and black strip on this occasion of this Gloucester side, and he is super reliable. And this drive has a little bit of momentum. That is the Gloucester try line there, and it's Adam Warren who's in helping as well. There are only three Dragons players that are, who are not in that mall, and Charlie Davis goes for the line! Charlie Davis helped by the crouch bunch of the Dragons. They used those canines initially and they created the platform for Charlie Davis to score what looks like being the quarter-final winning score. Well, how to come off the bench and make an impact. The, the territory of the Dragons have been jolly because the errors from Gloucester, they've eventually been able to capitalise. You say almost a lying Gloucester possession here. Hoping that they'll make a mistake. Tom Savage sets up? the ball back. They know they cannot give away a penalty here. Now that the, the play is inside the Dragons half. Steve McCall in possession. Penalty to the Dragons. And time is up here at King's Home.
this has been a remarkable performance by the Welsh region. Surely their greatest win ever in Europe. They control large tight in terms of territory, their kicking game really allowed him to force pressure. Oh, and it was at times a very disjointed Gloucester team.